Hello and welcome to Matt Loves Eurovision. It's my Eurovision 2023 top 37 countdown. It's place number 11, Slovenia, Joke Out, Carpe Diem. Please do click on the subscribe button, ring that notification bell and like, share and comment below. As always, the link to the music video is in the description, as is the link to the uh, review on my blog site. Um, so we're almost at the top 10 and we turn out to a country that has only had sort of limited success at Eurovision, especially in recent years. Slovenia intermittently qualify for the grand final and haven't been in the top 10 since 2001. Um, last year, sadly, the band LPS finished last in their semi-final. A rather harsh result, in my view, because I enjoyed that song. Um, but they're sticking with a ba another band this year. They are the self-described shagadelic soft boy rock and roll of Joker Out. Can they seize the day and get Slovenia a good result in Liverpool? Well, normally Slovenia has a public selection, a national final selection, uh, called EMA. But it seems this year, um, as soon as they received, or just as soon as they received, but when they got the submission from Joker out uh, during their call for entries, the broadcaster decided to cancel the final and internally selected the boys. Um, I think uh, I really respect the delegation or whoever it was, of the broadcaster for sort of taking that decision, obviously seeing uh, you know, a, uh, a kind of band that was increasing in popularity, and a popular band, and obviously enjoyed, liked the entry, and thought, no, I don't want to risk losing this in a national final, um, and so decided to internally select. Um, they are, um, I, I certainly respect them for taking that decision. Uh, they've got a much more, uh, or a more grown up, um, an established band with live performance sort of experience than previously with LPS, um, Joker out, although they're young lads, they're only in their early to mid twenties. Um, they've, uh, I think the band's been around for several years since 2016. And uh, whereas LPS was still at school um, yeah, last year. Um, the, spot, the song is a, a sparky sort of pop rock, indie uh, pop rock number. Uh, it's all sung in Slovenian, which is thumbs up for that. Um, they've released a couple, self released a couple of albums and uh, several, several singles. But they've definitely made a mark in their home country in Slovenia. Um, they've won uh, some music awards and uh, they've been appearing at a lot of festivals. Very much a band on the rise and they got a, a huge reception when they did a live performance in the capital uh, outdoors uh, just before they departed to come to, to Liverpool. I, uh, obviously it's high up in my rankings, just outside the top 10. Um, it's a really quality song, really good indie pop track pop rock track number. Um, the guys, they have bags of charisma and they're great live performers. I've seen them all the pre-parties, <coughs> including uh, London Eurovision, which is where I saw them live. Um, bit of a shame they're not allowed to play their instruments um, live on, on the Eurovision stage because they are a real proper live band. Um, I think the singing in Slovenian in their native language really works. Uh, all where, And all, just all together, this is a great package. Um, and I, I thoroughly enjoy this. Um, there's just they have this certain spark about them that's sort of je ne sais quoi. They're they're really fun and engaging on social media as well. Um, often with sort of you know, they've called out with good humour uh, some a BBC music journalist who didn't rate uh, Carpe Diem so highly, uh, and which prompted BBC Europe and they called that out with good humour. I say, but they um, prompted BBC Eurovision to then have a go at BBC News on their on their behalf. <coughs> they've also kind of been very funny about, you know, they've not been in the, this thing called Euro Jury. They haven't scored so well in that. And again, they've posted a picture just as a, just before I recorded this, uh, showing them kind of dive, uh, divers diving deep into the, so no diving deep down and saying oh, where are where we are in the Euro Jury. So uh, they are very self deprecating and a lot of fun, but. Um, uh, yes, yeah, so I'm sure they were, they're not going to do uh, they're going to do better than better than that. Um, so yes, while that so-called reviewer may not have rated their chances, I think the fandom, the general consensus is that uh, says otherwise. Um, I mean, it's not I'll be fair; it's not being touted as a winner, uh, as you know there are a couple there is a runaway favourite at the moment and a, a couple of others that seem to be um, in contention. But I think there's confidence that Joker out will. 
um, get a good result for Slovenia. I think they, um, looking at the semi-final that they're in, I'm pretty sure that we'll be getting them in the final. They're in a, a good slot. Um, I, they're in a good slot. I think they're pretty popular. Um, I don't see this not getting through to the grand final unless something terrible goes goes wrong. And I think once in the final, I would hope that actually, whatever Euro jury is saying, I'd hope that the national juries would give uh, would give this song uh, some some respect. And I can see a good televote for it too. It's um, I think a combination of the genre that which will definitely have its supporters, um, but also just their general charisma and live performance, I think will win lots of new fans uh, over to them as well. Um, but whatever happens uh, in the final, well, or in, in the Eurovision week, um, I think they've got some exciting times coming up. Uh, they've just released a duet with Elvis Costello, of all people. So carpe diem indeed. Um, so I hope, uh, what, what do you think? Let me know in the comments. And of course, next time you're back, we'll be starting the top 10. Take care.